Lots of strange things about today. Don't let the heather fool you. This is a partridge day, not a grouse day. Don't let the tweed confuse you. These guys aren't peers of the realm. They are Texans. We are in for a 250 bird day in some of the most spectacular scenery in the Central Highlands. And it is all put together by one of the most laid back lairds in Scotland, Ali Findlay. We've mixed terrain here. We've got some high river banks over the River Spey. We also have more on the moorland, uh, so hopefully we'll have a, a nice mixed day of, of different types of birds, you know, high birds as well as more like sort of almost driven grouse uh, type drives. Have, have you been here for years? Uh, my family came here in the 1960s. My mother bought it on the, on the idea that my father would like a grouse moor to, to entertain his friends on, so I thought it would be a good idea to, to buy a Highland estate. And we've been, she retired about 10 years ago and I took over then. And, so I've been here running it and we've been developing it over the last 10 years. The beaters and picker-uppers turn up promptly. Among them is the irascible Colonel. Ali comes over to warn me about the Colonel, but he's too late. Very nice footwear, uh, oh, the, Colonel. No, that's because I've got gout. You bloody well know that. Nice footwear. I'm bloody lucky. They're have, revolting. Why didn't you have a hoodie top on? They're too. revolting. You, you must know. go see the guests. They're bloody guests last year. The guns arrive and Ali does his job explaining where to shoot and who to miss. Well, you just keep it safe, you know, make, make sure we're also when you shoot behind you. Now, one of our jobs today is to showcase a great British cartridge. We want to show that Hull Cartridge's Imperial game is ideal for a driven partridge day. Think of this as a bit like a fairy liquid commercial where we ask happy shoppers, or in this case happy shooters, to take the taste test, or whatever it is. When it comes to cartridges, these guys have been putting up with an inferior Scottish brand on this trip, coloured blue. Like the colour of the British Empire on the map, Imperial game are red, and isn't that the breakfast of champions. It was tougher shooting than before, and uh, but the cartridges worked great. Found to be uh, excellent. Do you do shooting like this in the states? Uh, pheasant, pheasant, quail. Driven like this? Not driven. No, we generally work dogs and work fields, and so it, it's it's a different type of shoot as far as the birds getting up and uh, uh, versus the birds coming over the the uh, hillside like that uh, where you're shooting up, uh, which is a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. You put in the hours. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, the first drive on a partridge day is tricky, especially when you're used to walking up chucker. Happily, the Americans are warming up to their roles, both shooting partridges and shooting a line about cartridges. One of the finer shells I've ever shot. They knock them dead. Imperial cartridges. Ali Findlay is not helping. Finally, I get someone to say what they really think about the Imperial game. So you gave these, um, these whole cartridges a go. Was there any difference? I think a little bit. It seemed to be a little tighter pattern, maybe. It could get the higher birds with the whole cartridges. We did. You, it was the most testing drive that you got the cartridges to use. Uh, probably, yes. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. There, one of our former colonial subjects endorsing an imperial product. No need to scatter any tea about any harbour. Hull makes the right cartridges for visiting Americans to shoot straight. Meanwhile, the shooting is going well. The first three drives are low ground. There are times when the birds pour off the hillside and you begin to understand why the most popular gun brand in the USA is called Browning. Still, the bag is mounting and the pickers up, including the Colonel, are hard at it. By the halfway mark, when we drive onto Moorland to stop for a soup and a sharpener, the Relia gamekeeper gives his mid-match report. Happy boys. Um, yeah, it's all going fine. Yeah, we're, we're, the bag's just tickling along nicely as well, so it's all good so far, yeah. For the kind of casual onlooker looking at this, they think Heather, jolly grouse. So, so how does that work? This moor, there's Heather here, but it bad effectively with ticks years ago. And so the grouse declined about sort of maybe 30 years ago and they've never um, really come back. Um, so this shoot was established instead and we're just driving parties off the low heather. On the last couple of drives, we move back to farmland. The magnificent autumn colours here, the birds framed against the dramatic skyline of Scottish hills. It's a lot more to look at than a South of England partridge shoot. In, in the States, for the most part, we shoot rising birds, walk up rising birds. So anytime you've got birds coming straight toward you, it's a totally different uh, game and we really enjoy it. Well, I was going to say, I mean, Lucky, why would you put these four Americans through this? It seems to be a fair time. Bruce is very good for them, Charles. It's a learning curve they need to have. <laughs> no, they, yeah. these guys enjoy this. It's something they don't get to do at home, and it's, uh, 
it's it's also managing they've come a long way to get a considerable amount of shooting in a relatively short period of time good so uh, it it shows them a lot of sport in a relatively short time that's that's a real plus point good. everybody happy oh absolutely yeah yeah delighted yeah lackey has to drive this lot off for a bit of retail therapy at house of brewer nearby before he goes let's have a ringing endorsement from the americans about which is their favorite british cartridge company which one gentlemen oh cartridge there you have it, Hull Cartridge. Eight out of ten Partridge who expressed a preference said they like to be shot with Hull Cartridge Imperial Game. A clean kill every time you knock them on the beak. For more about Hull Cartridge, visit hullcartridge.co.uk and if you want to go shooting at Relia, email lackey ls at highlandsporting.com.